Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of properties of operations. This is standard 6.7D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression here, 38, and then we've got a parentheses, 251m minus 45, just random stuff. We need to find an equivalent expression. We don't actually need to solve it, uh, though we could if we really wanted to. Um, but what we need here is we need to figure out which one is equivalent. So this is an example of a property that we learned in sixth grade the distributive property. Now when you look uh, for an example of the distributive property, this is what you're going to get. A parentheses B plus C equals AB plus AC. And you might be thinking, well that's not very helpful. Well let me, let me show you what's happening here. So we are multiplying this A by the sum of the B and the C, right? But what the distributive property says is since we're adding, we've got these two different add-ins inside the parentheses and we're multiplying the A by both, we can actually distribute it out and we can multiply the A by the B and then the A by the C separately and then add those two together and you get the same thing. So this is just an example of how you can take a number that you're multiplying by the outside and if on the inside you've got you know addition or subtraction you can just distribute it out and take a look that's exactly what we have right here so I'm going to rewrite it but I'm going to rewrite it right underneath it 38 so that's going to kind of be my a I've got the 251 m that's kind of like my b then I've got a minus 45. It's kind of like my C. Now, in the example, it says addition. But remember, in our order of operations, addition and subtraction are inverse operations. So they're good. You can, you can use one or the other. So if I were to use this example, instead of subtracting 250, I don't even know what 251M is. But it, instead of subtracting 251 and 45, and then multiplying it by 38, what the distributive property says is I can take my 38, multiply it by this, and then multiply it by that, and then subtract the two. So let's see what that looks like. So I had my AB in my example, right? So that's going to be 38 times 251M. So that's my AB. This says plus AC, but that's because in the example it was, a, it was an addition. I'm going to minus because it is a negative. AC, so my A is 38 times, and then my C is 45. So this is an example of the distributive property. I could just take my 38 and multiply it by both inside, uh, both terms inside of the parentheses. And do we have anything that looks like this? Well, yeah, F looks just like it. So it looks like we were copying F. So you know what, let's, since we don't know what M is, let's substitute it, let's make it super simple. Let's make M zero. Okay, so if M equals zero, guess what I'm gonna get here? I'm gonna get 38, 251 times zero minus 45. So that's going to cancel out. That's a zero. So it's just going to be 38 uh, times negative 45, right? So let's see what happens if I make m zero here. Well, if m is zero right there, guess what happens to this whole line? That becomes zero because anything times zero is zero. And look what I've got. Negative 38 and 45, negative 45 and 38 doesn't matter where the negative is, it's going to be negative 38 and 45. My answer is F.